We gotta make sure we're on our best behavior. The S class is ready to start. We now have 1,029 wheel horsepower. It's out in my seat. Drive like this. It's a little extreme, Tony. A oh my god. Carly, welcome to Royalty Workday. <laughs> you look tired. Enter in. So the first part of the day. Carly and I are going to join, the, spend the day together today. It's going to be like a bring your daughter to work day because she's on spring break and uh, Denise has a lot going on with her business. So Carly is going to be my inspector today. We are going to see one of the newest restaurants for HHC. You ready? You ready to make your design opinions? It's one of our final walkthroughs. So this walkthrough right here was the point of it is to make sure that everything is where we want it to be. And we have our landlord there. So we got to make sure we're on our best behavior and everything is where we said it was going to be. So it's a quick two to three minute drive from the office and our appointment is at nine. It is 8.50. We're going to make it. You ready? Yeah. Can you say something? <laughs> yeah. And like I said, right on time. The main street in California is our cross streets here. And as you can see, it's all being beautified as we speak. There is uh, a lot of infrastructure and investment going into this area. I really, really like the vibe of this store. And I think Edmund and I got very lucky because we kind of waited. We signed this lease a couple of years ago at this point, back in 2021. And we, we really like slow played the opening of it. We wanted to make sure it was perfect. And we wanted to make sure that we got through all of everybody else's buildings, right? So they're, they're doing stuff on, I mean, there's just brand new tattoo places and there's other restaurants here, this good pie right here, right? So here's our restaurant here, a sign. As you can see, that first light box is going up right there. We've got the parking enforcers out in full force today. All right, so in here we have basically the standard HHC vibe as built in every restaurant, but this one is getting a little bit special treatment because we're gonna have this beautiful wall painted up. We're gonna put the TVs here, TVs here. And, uh, this is a very open space. Now, this is the largest operating front area we've ever built. So this is going to be very special. We've got an extended menu because we have a full bar. We've got added drink options in this area. People are gonna enter in here. And I love what we did with this because before, this is like a heritage building, right? So it's the city has some of the pieces that were here from the original 1930s, 40s, you know, when the building was first built. So we wanted to keep that aesthetic. So our contractor went ahead and left the glass brick here. We, we cleaned them, we got them all dialed in, we got new stuff, and we have this really cool, like almost circular opening area. And it's like a tunnel when you walk in. So out here, you can see the front of Main Street in California, which is our cross streets. So it's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be pretty beautiful walking in. It's gonna be like almost striking, right? So today I'm looking for lights. This is a, just a light for a place. I'm looking for chandeliers. We're going to do this beam right here all nice and you're going to clean it all up. I'll probably paint it black. I'm not really sure yet. Haven't decided. It kind of clashes with the other wood. So the bar itself is coming together. We're just waiting today. So the reason my visit today was to check on the material that's going to go on this back wall right here. So the back wall right here is going to be something really unique. Something the first time I've ever done it. I and mean, it's going to go with all of the gold across everything. I'm considering to use this countertop area and make tables out of it too. So I haven't really, I haven't dialed it in yet. That's my goal today. So I was just told by Andy that the S class is ready to start. Now, for those of you, start, start. See, right now, let me let me just go show you, okay? We're gonna jump in the car. We're gonna go show you guys what's going on. 
The fleet update video gave you a brief overview of that car being put back together. But now, Andy put the pieces that came from Mercedes on the car. And we have three steps left. The final step is me driving it. The step right now is us starting it so we can move it to the detail bay so we can get the PPF off the car so the body shop can paint the pieces back to the original color. Unfortunately, the PPF cannot go back on the car. So we're gonna have a black car for like six or seven weeks. Yeah, so we'll see that. It, this is the first time that you hear this car running with all the new upgrades and stuff. Yeah, I mean, we now have 1,029 wheel horsepower up from just over 700 horsepower. We gotta open the garage, hold on. And there she is. This is the beginning. So of course, Andy has taken it upon himself to do the first start because he had to put fluid inside the gearbox because that one was obviously damaged beyond a reasonable level. But uh, just a quick little overview. Now the interior is not that bad. I mean, it's really dirty, right? So the car has not changed. Like it's just, this is how it looked when it came. So now what we have to do, there's still some more pieces to go. We've got to remove the clear bra so that we can understand what actually is damaged on the side. Well, we have doors, okay? We already got the doors. The doors are sitting over here in these big boxes. Now, don't be confused by this front of this Mercedes. That was just a really good deal on eBay, so I just bought that for a spare. For, it's not even for an S63. I don't I just thought it was a good deal. Old brakes, old calipers, old rotors. We've got the new bumper right here and the new carbon pieces, new bumper foam. In here is doors and fenders. One of the fenders is over there, I already took off the box. So what we have now is to get this ready to go to the body shop, which I wanna to do tonight, kind of. Probably not tonight, probably like tomorrow morning at this point. I wanna do that next, but we gotta get this car to the detail bay. <laughs> We're gonna take the PP up off of this. Some of the pieces we don't have to worry about, like the two front fenders, because those are gonna replace the two side doors. Those are gonna replace the, uh, the hood and the quarter panels and the side skirts is what we want to focus on. I also want to know if this area actually is damaged or not. It looks like it's damaged, but just a little bit right here, there's a little bit of dent and I think they just pulled out right out, fixed it. All right. The door opens now, doesn't it, Tony? It does. It does. Those are being replaced, so it doesn't really matter. It's just a Oh my God. Reckless. Damn. Okay. We're gonna put stickers over this. Yeah. <laughs> you guys remember the last time he was driving a Wise Tech Mercedes? Well, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing the carbon fiber rear diffuser. I heard a two drum ones by accident. In case you guys haven't noticed, Houston's really bad at ordering things and booking tickets. At the worst. I'm not opposed to keeping a graph for a while. I need to get some bigger wheels. Okay, so let's start it up. Pin shut. No, it's 
Jesus. He sat in my seat. I'll drive like this. Sounds sturdy, sounds good. We're all good. The brakes have not been fed. Definitely sounds fucking better. Yeah, it does. Sounds great. <laughs> like, listen to that. <laughs> Dude, this thing's too fast. This thing's just way too fast. It's definitely we're gonna, fast. We're gonna break everything. Alright, one more time. of the gods, guys. That's all I can tell you.